Hello everyone, welcome to the tutorial number 10. In this tutorial, we are going to cover uh, we have completed the add functionality in the to-do app and now we are going to cover the, uh, the second part that is add mark as done checkbox or delete button. We will use the list group and list group item to render the same. So let's co continue with the tutorial. So we can move to our directory and this is our app and we can uh, like uh, I can uh, open like you can uh, reveal in file explorer you can click it uh, here and you can copy this path and you can paste this path in your browser and you will have two files that is to do.app.html and to do app.js so first we are going to carry on with the to do app.html so we had uh, completed the part I'll show you first we can type in something learn view add my to do here you can see the object has been added a json object has been added and then i can add another to do learn react and at the same time as soon as we add a to do the text at the text box gets disappeared and then learn angular so i have added three to do's and you can uh, you can uh, access them and i have an object that is uh, I have uh, like to do app.js and that is constant app so one thing I can show you also app this is an app object and here you can see that it will have this function add to do function reset and what I can show you that it also has a data so data is this id heading to do and to do text so inside inside this to do array this is a json array which has three json objects that is one is with this second and third so this was i was telling you that we all are adding this json object inside this array so we use this dot to do dot push to to uh, to do to because we create a to do object here so you can also rename this as a to do object for your simplicity and then we push this uh, like this works as a to do object this is a to do json object and when uh, so we push this to do json object inside this to do array so then we get a json array then i have called a reset method which removes the to do text and marks is are done as a false which was already default as a false and then uh, this dot id is incremented by one to make sure that every uh, to do object has a different id so let's uh, continue with the tutorial. So I'll create a new method that is, I'll show you one. Uh, uh, we can create a new method uh, like one is mark as done functionality and remove to do. So before we do that, let us create uh, first. We like first I'll render the to dos on the front end. So what I can do simply, I'll collapse this file explorer. Yeah, and this also so perfectly fine. So now like what I can do that I'm inside my app and when I move out of the form I can get to do's so this will uh, print the JSON array on the front end let me show you yeah so now the array is empty so let me do learn view yeah so this is the JSON object I've got then learn react Yes, second JSON object has been added and learn Angular. But this is not the correct way to show them on the front end. So we will use a functionality that is a for loop that will traverse the each JSON object and then we will add them. Uh, then we will render them uh, sequentially. So for that, what we can do, you will, we will you will use an unordered list. You will class is equal to list group list group and this is the default bootstrap class we are giving and then we will use a for loop but for that for loop what are we going to we are going to use a list so li so for that we are going to use li class is equal to list group item and this is a particular item and for that what we do uh, we can add a key okay and we have to use a for loop so we use v for to do in to do's 
so this is our i notation to do for singular in to do to do's was an array so for every to do in to do's we need to define uh, we will render them plus we need to define a key so that a, a for loop has a unique id and for that we are giving to do dot id because it is always unique and then what we can do we can print we can print to do dot to do text okay so when i refresh this page i get an empty array then learn view so you here you can see that i've got a list group item then learn react yeah so this is now looks perfectly fine and learn angular so this is all we get in in the list view so this looks perfectly fine so i'll remove all the render part and console.log statement when we uh, uh, when we are fully done with the development so that the it's it's like optimized so now what we can do we can add two things one is a checkbox so we will add this inside this and before that what we can do we can style this a little bit style is equal to text align is equal to center and and font weight would be bold font weight would be bold so when we refresh this and add something we get bold and in the center now we can to add two things one is a button so this button we will add a button and this would be for the delete functionality uh, this is for the delete functionality sorry for the spelling mistake delete functionality and we'll have input input type is equal to checkbox for mark is done functionality so when i refresh this page what i see yeah so i'll add it to do something random text yeah so this is a delete button and input type is equal to checks check uh, this is a checkbox to make it mark as done or delete so what i can do i can add a label for this input type is equal to checkbox or i can i can add a text here click on checkbox to mark as done or click on delete to remove i hope this is fine click on delete to remove so when i click this so yeah i get a so click on checkbox to mark as done or click on delete to remove so this is a uh, like temporary text and you can align this to the center as well style is equal to you need to add the style style is equal to text align center yeah so perfectly fine so uh, let me add something yeah so we have two buttons in checkbox to complete or delete so we can uh, like we will continue this in the next tutorial so for that what we are going to do we are going to create a function that is delete to do and this would be like delete to do we have to complete this function and i'll put a comma sign here so delete sorry for the mistake so we will complete this delete to do function and input type is equal to checkbox and what we are planning to add that as soon as we make it mark as done the background changes it to the green so this would be marked as a done and would be differentiated ourselves from the other tutorials so thank you one for watching this tutorial i'll catch you in the next tutorial thank you